Good morning, my friends. It's Mr. Jim here at the Fayetteville Public Library. Will you sing a good morning song with me for toddler time? Let's sing one of my favorite good morning songs. We're going to sing Open, Shut Them this morning. Can you put your hands up like this? Can you open and shut your hands? Open and shut. Let's sing our song together. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them them open shut them put them in your lap 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 now creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open up your little mouth but do not let them in good job my friends let's sing it one more time together now that we know the words hands up one more time open shut them open shut them them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them in your lap 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 now creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open up your little mouth but do not let them in. Good job, my friends. I hope you didn't put your fingers in your mouth. Thanks for being silly with me first thing today. And welcome to Toddler Story Time. We are bringing you a virtual Toddler Story Time this weekend, tomorrow. And then I have a very special announcement coming up in just a second. But thank you very much for watching this live stream or recording of our story times. We've so enjoyed bringing you virtual story times. And we're really looking forward to bringing you in-person story times. Which leads me to one of my announcements this morning. Let's go to our super special story time schedule and look at what we're going to do today. We just sang a good morning song. So I'm going to take this square that says music away. And we have lots of other stuff to do today, too. We said hello, and I have just a couple of announcements. And then we're going to read some storybooks. We'll sing some songs together. We're going to do some activities together, including sign language. We'll read three stories, and then it'll be time to say goodbye. But I have so much in plan for us today, and I'll tell you what we're going to talk about in story time in just a second. You know, I left all my animals in there. We'll have to, t we'll have to use our imaginations today. I have two announcements for this story time, my friends. The first one is that next week we are going to bring back an in-person toddler story time. In-person story times, we're going to uh, roll back out next week. So if you're watching this and want to come to the library for an in-person story time, they will be on a first-come, first-served basis for seating. Um, we'll have a limited number of tickets, but you can get a ticket when the library opens uh, for our 10 a.m., excuse me, 10.30 a.m. toddler time next Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning. Um, our full story time schedule is on our website and all story times will have that ticketing system. And we would love for you to be a part of story times in person starting next week. My second announcement is that Super Saturdays are still here and we'll have one this upcoming Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Our friends at Afrikaya are going to be here on the event center stage. Uh, there's going to be music and dance. It's going to be so much fun. We've, I have lots of drums coming to the stage this Saturday at 10 a.m. on the event center stage. And look at our website for the full list of Super Saturday schedules coming on Saturday mornings. All right, my friends, we said our announcement, so I'm going to take away the announcement square. Now we can talk about what we're going to talk about in story time today. In story time today, we're going to talk about stuff in the jungle have you ever been to the jungle before? No. There are lots of trees in the jungles. There's lots of animals in the jungles. We have trees and animals in Arkansas, but we don't have jungle trees or jungle animals. We have to go to the zoo if we want to see jungle animals. Today in Toddler Story Time, we're going to read books and sing songs about animals like elephants or lions. We're going to talk about the trees and the rivers. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that you're a part of Jungle Storytime today. And to start Jungle Storytime, we're going to start with a storybook. This book is my friend Miss Lolly's favorite book. It's one of her favorites. This book is called Jazzy in the Jungle. Mama Jojo is looking for baby Jazzy. They're both lemurs. Lemurs are in the jungle. But Mama Jojo can't find baby Jazzy. We have to help Mama Jojo find Jazzy in the jungle. This book is by Lucy Collins, and there are three things that I like to do when we listen to a story together. The first thing that we do is we make sure we're sitting on our bottoms together so that we can use our eyes to see the story. Thanks for sitting down with me today. The second thing we do is we put on our listening ears. Here are my ears. Where are your ears? Are they listening? Very good. 
And the third thing we do is we catch a big bubble in our mouth and blow it out slow. Catch another big bubble. Very good. That helps us turn our voices off. Our ears are on and listening, and we're sitting down to see the first story, Jazzy in the Jungle. There's Mama Jojo and Baby Jazzy. Oh, where'd Baby Jazzy go? Mama Jojo and Baby Jazzy are playing hide and seek in the jungle. Oh, if they're playing hide and seek, Baby Jojo, excuse me, Baby Jazzy must be hiding. And Mama Jojo is going to seek. Baby Jazzy, where are you? Are they behind the leaves? Not here, says Ant Eater. We'll keep looking in the jungle. <gasps> Not here, says Snake. There's a snake in this jungle. Not here, says Hummingbird. So many different jungle animals all in these trees and leaves. Not here, says Lizard. Not here, says Leopard. Try looking by the tum-tum trees. So Mama Jojo goes to the tum-tum trees. Mama Jojo looks by the tum-tum trees and says, Baby Jazzy, where are you? Look behind the trees. Not here, says Curly Whirly Bird. Not here, says Chameleon. Not here, says Crocodile. Not here, says Parrot. I see birds and reptiles. So many different jungle animals and bugs. Next week, we're going to talk about bugs. Not here, says Harry Caterpillar. <gasps> and a big gorilla. Not here, says Gorilla. Try looking by the flip fluff flowers. Do you think baby Jojo is, baby Jazzy's at the flowers? Here we are at the flip fluff flowers. Mama Jojo looks by the flip fluff flowers and says, where are you, baby Jazzy? Let's keep going in the jungle. <gasps> it's a tiger. Do you see tiger's stripes? Not here, says tiger. And there's a frog. Frog has spots. Not here, says frog. Not here, says big red bird. Not here, says dragonfly. Not here, says baboon. Baby Jazzy's really good at hiding. There's so many other animals. I wonder if we'll find baby Jazzy. Not here, says butterfly. And what's this big one? Do you know this big animal? That's right, it's elephant. Not here, says elephant. Let's all look by the big boo trees. So all the animal friends go to the big trees. And Mama Jojo says, oh, baby Jazzy, will I ever find you? Do you think we'll ever find baby Jojo? Baby Jazzy, I mean. Mama Jojo and all the animals start saying, yes, yes, yes. All the other animals start saying, yes, 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 you will find them. There's only one more place to look. Do you see it? Do you see this one little tree here? I see two orange eyes peeking out from the tree. Who do you think is hiding in there? Do you think it's baby Jazzy? <gasps> Mama Jojo found baby Jazzy. She says, found you, baby Jazzy. And baby Jazzy says, I love you, Mama Jojo. All the animals played hide and seek, and Mama Jojo finally found baby Jazzy. There were so many different jungle animals that we had to pass to get to the baby, weren't there? Lions and tigers and snakes and bugs, birds and elephants, lizards, frogs, gorillas, crocodiles. My goodness, so many different animals we can find in the jungle. Some are big, some are small, and look at all the different colors, too. I'm so glad we found baby Jazzy, aren't you? That's the end of this game of hide and seek in this book. And that's the end of our story. So we'll say the end, the end. That was Jazzy in the jungle. Good job, Mama Jojo. Sorry, I forgot your name so many times. Very good, my friends. All those different animals we saw in the jungle were all different, weren't they? No two animals looked the same. Some were different colors. Some were different sizes. We're going to sing a song next after I take our super special story time schedule block. We just read a storybook, so I'm going to take one away since we just did that. And next, we're going to have some music. We're going to sing a song together. 
This is called Big, Big, Big. It's a song about opposites. Can you make your hands go big? Can you make your hands go small? Can you make your hands go short? There are some short animals, and there's some really tall animals like giraffes and people. What about, can you make them go fast, fast, fast? There are some really fast animals in the jungle. They have to run fast or fly fast. Can you make them go slow, slow, slow? There are some slow animals like elephants or turtles. Can you make your head say yes, yes, yes? Can you nod your head yes, yes, yes? And can you say no, 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 no? Very good. We're going to do our rhyming words next about opposites in this song. Let's make them go big, big, big first. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. Make them go fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Very good. Let's do it one more time. This is big, big, big animals. This is small, small, small animals. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is no, no, no. Good job, my friends. Give yourself a round of applause. When you see different animals, you know that they're big or they're small or they're fast or they're slow. We can learn about those different animals with books at the library, too. Very good. Next, we're going to stand up and do a song together. Are you ready to stand up with me? We're going to pretend to be some of these animals in a song that sounds a lot like If You're Happy and You Know It. Do you know that song? Well, instead of happy, we're going to be different animals. And the first animal is really big, and it has a trunk, and it likes to stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you think of a big gray animal that stomps around with its trunk and goes, yeah, it's elephant. Let's pretend to be elephants first. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around, stomp, stomp. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around, stomp, stomp. If you're an elephant and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around, stomp, 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 stomp. Very good. What if we pretend to be oh, monkeys? Monkeys are so silly, aren't they? Yeah. Can you... Let's see, monkeys like to jump. Can you, can you jump up and down with me? Jump, jump, yeah, let's pretend to be monkeys. If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. <laughs> if you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. <laughs> if you're a monkey and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. <laughs> oh, that's so silly, isn't it? Next, we're gonna be one that's kind of scary. <gasps> It's a crocodile. Have you ever seen a long green crocodile with jaws that go snap, snap, snap? It's got lots of teeth. They're like alligators, but not really alligators. These are crocodiles. Crocodiles live in the jungle. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws, snap, snap. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws, snap, snap. If you're a crocodile and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a crocodile and you know it, show me your teeth and snap your jaws, snap, snap. Very good. The last one we're going to pretend to be is one of my favorites. It's a really loud animal that likes to roar. It's not a dinosaur. It lives in the jungle. It has a big mane. Can you think of a big cat that has a big mane and likes to roar? It's a lion. Good job. We're going to pretend to be lions and roar. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a lion and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. Good job, my friends. Give yourself another round of applause. Thanks for pretending to be animals with me today. I'm going to sit back down and go to the super special story time schedule again. We're going to take away our music block because we pretended we sang songs together. We pretended to be animals. And now it's time for our next story. We just pretended to be a lion with a big roar. But what happens when you lose your roar? 
we're going to find out in this book about a lion. This book is called The Little Lion Who Lost Her Roar. Oh, no. She lost her roar. She can't roar really loud. Why not? Let's find out together in the second book that we're going to read. Here's Little Lion, and let's go through our checklist together one more time. Can you sit down on your bottom again, my friends? Thank you very much. Can you put your listening ears back on? Listening. Can you catch a bubble again? Catch one more. Very good. We're ready for the next story, and here it comes. Little Lion woke up feeling very odd. She felt funny. She was brushing her teeth, her lion teeth. She opened her mouth, ah, but found out that her roar was missing. Oh, no. What's a lion without a roar? Every morning she tried, but all that came out was a tiny that's not a very big roar, is it? It just sounded like, Rah. oh no, what's she going to do? So little lion decided that she was going to look for her roar. Can you look for a sound? Do you hear sounds? Yeah, we can hear sounds. It's hard to see sounds. Let's see if little lion can listen for her sound instead. She's in the car and she heard the roar of traffic. She heard all the different cars and buses and things on the street. It gets really loud on the street sometimes. Is that her lion roar? No, that wasn't her roar. There's the big long street with lots of cars. The traffic can roar in a different way. Now she's on a surfboard on the ocean. The ocean and the waves can roar. Lion heard the sea, the ocean roar. But that wasn't her roar either. Hmm, where else could she hear a roar? Now she's in a forest or a jungle maybe. And she heard the wind roar. <sighs> it's been really windy in Fayetteville this week. Have you heard the wind roar? Yeah, it can get really loud sometimes. Lion heard that. Oh no, she almost got blown away. She's holding onto the tree. But that definitely wasn't her roar. Where is her lion roar? She's still feeling funny. Little lion was tired from her long search. It was time to go home. And when little lion saw her mama, she was so happy that she let out a loud roar. She had it in her all along. Little lion was feeling weird until she was back in mama's arms, and then she felt like herself again. All little lion needed was some confidence in feeling herself, and then she could roar really big and loud again, couldn't she? Can you give a big lion roar like little lion? Yeah, we can be little lions, but we can roar really big on the count of three. One, two, three, roar! Good job, little lions. I'm glad we found her roar, but there were lots of other things that can make really big sounds like lions, weren't there? That's really cool. Guess what, my friends? That's the end of our second story, the little lion who lost her roar but found it again. So we'll say the end. The end. Good listening, my friends. All right, back to the super special story time schedule. We're going to take away our storybook square because we just did that. And next... I want you to look at something with me. We're going to go over here to the felt board, and I'm going to do another song with you about more lions. We're talking about so many lions today. What if there were five ferocious lions? Can you help me count the ferocious lions on the felt board? I'm going to put them up there. Here's one. Do you see this lion with his big red mane? Two. Three. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five ferocious lions. They can be kind of scary, can't they? Rawr, says the lions. Listen and watch this song with me, and you can help me count down the five ferocious lions. Deep in the jungle, what did I hear? Five ferocious lions roaring loud and clear. What did the lions say? Roar, said the lions. Go away, said I, and the first ferocious lion ran away. Goodbye. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? 
Do you think the same thing will happen if we do it again? Now there's one, two, three, four. Now there's still four ferocious lions. They're still kind of scary. Deep in the jungle, what did I hear? Four ferocious lions roaring loud and clear. Roar, said the lions. Go away, said I. And another ferocious lion ran away. Goodbye. Hmm, now how many are left? One, two, three. There's only three left. Deep in the jungle, what did I hear? Three ferocious lions roaring loud and clear. What did the lion say? Roar, said the lions. Go away, said I. And another ferocious lion ran away. Goodbye. Can you say goodbye each time a lion goes away? Goodbye. Now how many are left? These lions are more afraid of us than we are of them, aren't they? One, two, only two left. Deep in the jungle, what did I hear? Two ferocious lions roaring loud and clear. Are you ready to roar? One, two, three. Roar, said the lions. Go away, said I. And another ferocious lion ran away. Goodbye. Now there's only one left. Do you think he's going to run away too? Let's find out deep in the jungle. What did I hear? One ferocious lion roaring loud and clear. I think he's the bravest, but let's see if he runs away. What does the lion say? Roar, said the lion. Go away, said I. And the one ferocious lion ran away. Goodbye. Now there's no ferocious lions. Those lions weren't so ferocious after all. They were kind of weenies, weren't they? They ran away. <laughs> all the lions are gone and we say goodbye. Goodbye, lions. Now there's nothing to be afraid of. Good job, my friends. That was really silly, wasn't it? That was the five ferocious lions. Next, let's go to the schedule. We're taking away this square. And the next square says sign language. It's time to learn some sign language today. We're going to learn some jungle sign language today. Sign language is when we use our hands to talk instead of our mouths. We can say different words with our hands and fingers. And today we're going to learn three words. I think we're going to learn three words today. The first word is the word for jungle. Jungle is what we're talking about today. Jungles have lots of trees and rivers and animals and plants. There's so much to see in the jungle. I've never been, but I've read lots of books about the jungle. To say the word jungle, we need both of our hands and we're going to do two words together. The first part is down like this. Can you pull down with your hands? Down. And then we're going to make a tree and we're going to wave that tree back and forth. Jungle. This is wet forest. And when we say wet forest, that means jungle. Jungle. That's kind of hard, isn't it? Pull down and then make a happy tree that's waving. Jungle. Very good. The next one's a little easier. We're going to talk about that animal that we've been reading about today that likes to roar. We're going to learn the word for lion in sign language. You need one hand in a claw for a lion. And you're going to start at your forehead and pull it back around your head like a lion mane. A claw at your forehead and pull back. Lion. Lion. A claw hand on your face. Start it back like a lion mane. Lion. Good job. You can roar when you do that too. The third word, the last word, is going to be for roar. Lots of animals can make noises. Some sound like roars, like lion roars. To say roar, you need two claws at your throat by your neck, and you're going to pull up like this. You can make a squinchy face like you're roaring. Roar. The sound is coming out of, your, out of your neck, out of your throat. Roar. Roar. Very good. You don't have to make any sound out of your mouth when you say the word. It can be really quiet, too. We just learned three words in sign language today, my friends. Let's see if we can remember them. Do you remember jungle? That's the hard one. Pull down. Happy tree, wet forest, jungle, jungle. Very good. The second one was lion. Do you remember the animal sign for lion? Lion, lion. And the third one was roar, the sound that we can make, that the animals make. Roar, roar, 
roar. Good job, my friends. We just learned three words in sign language. Give yourself a round of applause. This is how we clap in sign language. I'm so proud of you for learning those words, my friends. Be sure you practice them, and you'll get really good at them too. But you're so smart for learning sign language with me. Thank you for doing that. Okay, let's see what's next. We take away our sign language square because we just did that. We have time for one more story, and then it's time to say goodbye. I hope you'll join us next week for an in-person story time. But here's my last virtual book for a while. Don't worry, we'll still live stream our story times too. I thought we could talk more about the different animals that we'll see in the jungle. Remember, to see jungle animals, we have to go to the zoo, or you can, look at book, you can see them in books in the library, or YouTube videos. There's lots of places to see jungle animals. This book is called Jungle Beasts Pop-Up, a safari face-to-face. -face. This is going to have lots of pop-up animals. It's really fun to see the different pop-up jungle animals. Let's go through our checklist one more time. Are you sitting down one more time? using your eyes to see this story, listening ears on one more time, catch a bubble one more time. Very good. Here comes the last story. What's this one? We talked about this animal. It's got a long trunk and tusks and really big ears, and it stomps around. If you, it's hard to see the words. Oh, no, the elephant ear's in the way. There we go. If two tusks tap you on the shoulder, if a trunk tussles your hair, if your cheeks are <laughs> if your cheeks are slapped by big ears that flapped, then you are probably facing that was hard to read. What's this animal? This is an elephant. An elephant. Very good. Oh, what's this one? We did the sign language word for this one and it roars. This is lion. If a shaggy mane brushes you, if a loud roar gives you a fright, if your lunch is munched by big teeth that crunched, then you are probably facing a lion roar. Do you remember? Lion. That's a big lion on this page. Oh, do you know this animal? This animal's really tall because it has a very long neck and long legs too. If you, are, if you are sitting high up in the trees when thick lips begin tugging your knee, if your nose is picked by a long tongue that licked, then you are probably facing a giraffe. Giraffes have long necks and legs and long tongues too. Giraffes are very, very tall animals. Ooh, this one has a big horn on its nose. Can you pretend to have a horn on your nose? If two horns rattle your rib cage, if a, bed, if a beady eye gives you a stare, if your arms are prickled by rough skin that tickled, then you are probably facing, do you know this animal? A rhinoceros. Rhinoceroses can run really fast, and they have horns that are really pokey too. You don't want to be poked by a rhino horn. Oh, here's a happy one. This one has a big mouth. Ah, with really strong jaws. Let's see if I can see all the words past this friend. If a bristly chin scratches your cheeks, if a huge yawn makes you see pink, if your hair is ruffled by nostrils that snuffled, then you are probably facing, do you know this one with a big mouth? Look inside that mouth. This is a hippopotamus, a hippo. Hippos can swim, hippos can run, and hippos have really big mouths. Ah, um, 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 um. And here's one more, my friends. You probably know this one too. This is a really silly one. If a cheeky look makes you giggle, if big eyebrows give you a surprise, if your ears are battered by a voice that chattered, then you are probably facing, do you know what this is? It's a chimpanzee. Chimpanzees go Ooh, ah, 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 like we did earlier. Chimps can be really, really silly. They swing up in the trees, chimpanzee. Well, my friends, that was six different jungle animals that we got to meet in this book. Their faces were really big, weren't they? They were blocking some of my words. It's really cool that we can read about different jungle animals since we can't go to a jungle so easily. 
we can learn lots of facts about the animals in the books that we read. And we can pretend to be those animals too. Thank you for pretending to be different jungle animals, reading about them in stories and singing songs and learning sign language about them too. I hope you liked story time today. That's the end of our last story. So we'll say the end. The end. Well, friends, we're going to take away our story book square. And now it's time to sing a goodbye song and say goodbye. I had so much fun with you in story time today. Remember Super Saturday this Saturday on the event center stage at 10 a.m. And our in-person story time still live streamed next Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. Miss Sarah will be back with a virtual story time tomorrow at 10.30. We hope you'll join us for that too. Let's sing a goodbye song and then I'll see you next time. Can you sing goodbye friends? Goodbye friends. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing it one more time. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching Toddler Time with me today, my friends. I'll see you next time. And remember, you made today a very special day just by being you. Bye, my friends. See you next time.